Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today I've got the Reximax thrown with me in 0.22. Uh, we are shooting a JSB 18 grain and the 15.89 JSB 80s today. Uh, the, the 18 grains we are shooting from 800 feet per second down to 1000 or well, up to 1050 feet per second uh, just via turning this little wheel here, the power adjuster. Um, it's got a, a regulator that you can adjust outside from outside. Obviously, with the pressure down, uh, you remove the bottle, uh, all the air out in the secondary and the first stage so that you can adjust this one if you need to uh, make the power lower. That's why you have to remove the bottle, otherwise you're gonna damage your regulator. But let's say if it's on 130 and you need to go to 150, you can just adjust it without taking off any other bottle. So only when you wanna lower your regulator pressure, you then have to remove off your tank, which is pretty simple. Just screw it off and then release the air. So what's unique about this little bull pup is this trigger guard right here. This is the safety mechanism connected to the trigger. So if it's up like this and flush with the trigger guard, then the safety is on. Once you remove or push it down, then you'll see it will be able to safely be fired and move it up and the safety is on. So it does come in three calibers, 177, 22 and 0.25. So like I said, this is a 0.22 uh, the barrels will be available in 2020, the 177 and the 0.25s, which you can just change in and out. Um, like, I, like I said, it's got a power adjuster at the back, which is quite nice. So if you want more shot count, then you just screw it all the way out so that the hammer spring tension is not hitting the valve as hard. Uh, you can also have adjustable uh, butt pad at the back here and it is um, nice and soft at the back, it's not plastic, it's actually rubber, so it really feels nice in the shoulder. And it also picks up quite well, so if you can see it's quick, easy, loaded from the side, just take aim and then you fire. Just make sure the safety is off, once that is done, there, that's how easy it is. So you can put additional uh, silencing in the front here, just turn off, screw off this uh, end cap here, put in uh, your half inch UNF thread and you can put on whatever silencer, then it will be whisper quiet. This uh, scope that we put on today is going to be 832 by 50 uh, SF discovery scope. This is a really nice scope, second focal plane. A um, bit, bit more about this rifle, it has a Picatinny rail at the top and a Picatinny rail at the bottom here. Uh, manometer, yeah, guys. Another thing, let's talk about this manometer gauge, whatever you want to call it. It charges from zero to 200 bar. Do not go up to 250 bar. Why I'm saying this is it's got a safety burst disc underneath here. So if you go over 200 bar, it will bleed off the air and you're going to have to replace that safety burst disc again. So it can only charge up to 200 bar. We will show you how it works. And yeah, the, another unique thing what we have added on is this one piece uh, scope mount. It's really nice, it's got a bubble level in the back here. As well as on the scope, we've got our own bubble level. If you can see there, it's got a nice bubble level. So that helps us to get everything as level as possible when we're shooting downrange. So ladies and gentlemen, this gun it is really nice, it comes in a a uh, hard carry case with wheels. I will put it down in the description. 
and you guys can go visit pelleguns.com to see how this rifle looks. Uh, the magazine, before I forget, is a 12 shot and you get two magazines in the box with some allen keys and it uses a different full probe at the side here so you will also receive your own full probe to fill up your gun. So it is on its own, like we put it on here. So that's how we've done it with our normal foster fill fitting and then the regulator or the foster fill for the maxi throw. And let's do a 50 yard shooting and let's see if we can get some birds to shoot. Uh, it's a bit hard now with the wind, everything blowing, so, but it is what it is. Real world life situations that we are doing here, guys. So, we'll see you in a bit. Guys, that's a five shot goopy at 32 yards. Checking out. SP Hades, 15.89 grain at about 890 feet per second. The wind is blowing quite wild today, so let's see how it does at 50 yards. Let's see how it shoots. We're going to do a couple of groupings, see how it just goes. So, can't expect anything heavy and nice to group together, but let's see how it does in the wind. Okay, that's a 12 shot grouping at 50 yards. 